mods. Even though it's our purpose to keep Pippi as stockish as possible, some mods, however mild they may be, are definitely coming. It's inevitable. Or I should say, necessary. At least for how we plan on using her. Needless to say, we're going to take some measurements today, while she's still bone stock, and so that we have a baseline, reference points that we can always refer back to in the future. And because this is how she came, and how most of you will be getting your JL Wranglers, we're going to be taking all our measurements with her full doors and hardtop on. So, the first set of measurements we'll be taking are what I consider to be superficial ones. Essentially, ones that can vary depending on different conditions and where accuracy can be a moving target. 12 and a quarter. 12 and 5 eighths. 12 and 3 eighths. 12 and a half. Thirty-six inches. Thirty-six inches. Thirty-five and seven eighths. Thirty-five and a half. Six inches. Five and seven eighths. Six inches. Five and five eighths. A couple more measurements. Sixty nine inches. Sixty nine inches. Now, even though these measurements are superficial, I like taking them anyway because they're easy to reference and they'll help me to quickly gauge things like how much sag we're seeing after installing a heavy bumper or how much fender clearance we lost after throwing on a set of bigger tires. While placing Tippy up on a set of jack stands and removing her wheels and tires may not have been a necessary step, we really wanted our second set of measurements to be accurate ones. And the best way to ensure that is to take those measurements from the axle to the frame. So the first measurement we're going to take is going to be on the driver's side front axle. And we're going to take it from the base plate of the lower spring perch. The metal bracket is physically attached to the axle and then we're going to measure all the way to the base of the lip of the upper spring perch and that should give us a pretty good representation of anything to come in the future okay looking at nine and seven eighths okay on the passenger side we're looking at oh looks like nine and three quarters maybe just a hair more I'm going to call it nine and three quarters. Coming around to the back of the passenger side of this Jeep, we're going to take our next measurement from the base of the bump stop plate here on the axle to the bottom of the frame rail. Okay, let's see, we're looking at about five and three quarters of an inch. And on the driver's side, we're looking at five and three quarters. 
Now, the reason why we wanted to get these measurements is because they can't be influenced by things like tire pressure or tread depth. And they help us to accurately see things like how much lift we might get from installing a new lift kit. All right, that should give us a pretty good set of baseline measurements. And although they are specific to this particular bone stock, Jeep JL Wrangler two-door sport, they should give you a general idea of what you could expect to find on any JL Wrangler sport. Of course, the best set of measurements you could be working off of are the ones you take yourself. And we hope that this video will be of help to you. You want it? Go get it. Ripley, what happened to your stick?